and we're back. Hello. <laughs> Why is everything on fire? Yo. <laughs> Not yet. Soon. That comes yeah. later. Soon AF. So, um, what, what are you trying to tank the lotus with? So let's I start grabbing. Grabbing some poison. Good. Um, I figure we could use, um, what? Do you say dream powder? Oh, drown powder. Oh, yeah, that sounds fun. Drown powder. Because it's, cause it'd be like something you don't necessarily want it to be lethal, but enough yeah. to, yeah. Like in first, yeah. yeah. Wait, so drown powder does not actually drown people then? Unless you give them like straight drown powder. It's incapacitating, but only fatal. But fatal yeah. only in very high doses. Okay, yeah, that sounds good then. Yeah, if we just want them to be like, oh, this is contaminated and a bad stash, not like kill people. Basically, it gives you a bad trip. Yeah, that or sounds we could, good. We could also use eye blind, which I was fun too. Yeah. <laughs> So where are you getting this this drown powder from? I'm assuming they might have some. Really? Or um, I could try to flash back to getting some from somebody, like one of my friends. Yeah, that makes more sense. Okay. Letting our alchemists do alchemy things. Yeah. So. <laughs> so I mean, you guys came in with the plan of tainting this lotus. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. So you flash back to a friend. Which friend? Okay, so I've actually got a psychonaut contact. Um, what's his name? Uh, Veldrin. Veldrin? Yeah. That's okay. my uh, plus friendship contact from uh, character right. creation. Right, Veldrin, the psychonaut, yes. Yeah. I have that here. Um, okay, so you flash back. Uh, what are what are you like? What does that look like when you get this? How do you get it from him? What do you give him in, in exchange? So um, he probably I guess, you know, hangs out at a place not dissimilar to the Black Hole Sun here, but you know some other place where he's doing whatever his preferred drug of choice, or you know, he's his probably uh, he's probably maybe dream smoke. That sounds appropriate. Just so that he can be in the right headspace to ponder the celluloids or whatever the fuck. Right. So I guess I'd just, you know, show up and kind of, you know, sit down next to him and say, hey, you know, hey, old friend. And he would kind of turn very slowly and you're very used to that, this. Mm -hmm. And he would look at you and he would say, hey, Nuri. Hi. Hello. Hello. Okay. Okay. Okay, can you hook me up with some drugs? <laughs> oh, like, one drug forward, yeah. Oh, straightforward. And like, he kind of blinks really slowly, and he's like, yeah, 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 you should have some of this right now, here. And he, like, uh, passes you the, the pipe. I'm going to pretend to take some and say, okay, okay, I, I, I'm, I'm looking for something, you know, we're also going like to need some brown powder, you know, so, something that might give somebody not such a good time. Drown, oh, drown powder. Um, I mean, maybe, I mean, I know a guy that has some, it's rough stuff. You shouldn't do that, though. Oh, I'm not going to be doing it. I'm going to give it to someone oh. else. Don't worry. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's cool. Yeah, I could get some of that for you. Uh, sure. Could you... Um, I feel like you're trying to convince this person to part with... Or to at least use a connection. Yeah. So he's Isn't like, I mean, I could call in a favor, but like, uh, I was hoping to use it for myself, right? Like, well, I mean, I can pay the guy if you hook me up. Oh, oh, you're going to give me some money to get the drugs? You can also offer to give him some. 
Of what? Like some of what we get? Offer to like break them off a little bit. Well, that's, that's a good point. Yeah, I know. Well, I, I, I can I can do that or I can give you an IOU for some black lotus. I I got eyes. I don't what? <laughs> Some good stuff. I, I can I can get you back some stuff later. Oh, good stuff. Yeah, okay, yeah, we can trade. I'll trade you the bad stuff. But you got to give me the good stuff. Yeah, this is a good deal for you. So it sounds like um, you are trying to... Devil's bargain. Yeah, like, so you're going to, you're going to cut Beldrin in on... Some of some of the black lotus, I guess. Mm -hmm. Either that or consort, yeah. Consort. Yeah, with you're the doing you're doing something to to convince him. Yeah, is, is that sway? You it can could use be sway. Yeah. Um, I, mean, I guess you're basically not manipulating really him and using his addiction to get what you want. Yeah, uh, you can take the devil's bargain. Um, if you fail, he will, or regardless of whatever happens, he will become addicted to Lotus. Oh no, that that would uh, that would be sad. I feel bad for doing that. If I just tried to sway him, uh, would that not happen? Yeah, you don't get the bonus die though. Uh, okay. I mean, it's probably an opioid, so he's already probably hopelessly addicted anyways. Yeah. He's got an addictive uh, personality. Uh, I say just do it. Is this uh, controlled? Yes. Are you taking the bargain or no? No. Okay. Okay. Um, standard effect? Yes. Excuse me. I don't get any bonus for being friends with him? No. Okay. That's my GM noise. <laughs> Controlled on a four. Um, huh. So I think, um, I think as you're like, oh, you have zero dice. That's a three. Yeah. Do you have no dots in Sway? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, I'm the I fucking love you. Consort. No, Sorry, it's too what? late. We rolled sway. It's too late. Yeah, all right. Yeah. <laughs> it's too late. It's it's just I, I, I forgot that there were special rules for that. What happens when I do that? You roll a disadvantage. You, yeah, yeah, you take you the lower the lower oh, die. Right. Okay. I fucking love you. Oh my god. <laughs> so so you're sitting at the bar, um, conducting a drug deal. Mm-hmm. Uh, and the bartender is like, he slams his hand down in front of the two of you and he's like, hey, I don't deal with any, I don't have any of this nonsense in my establishment. But this is a drug you establishment. Buy, you buy the drugs that I sell here. None of this side dealing. Get the fuck out. All right. Do you have any sleep? Or <laughs> I said, get the fuck out. It's fine. And Veldra is just kind of like blinking really slow. He's like, did, did you just get kicked out? Can you give me this guy's phone number before I go? What's a phone? <laughs> <laughs> okay, I guess I have to go. <laughs> Can I steal some drugs from somebody on my way out? <laughs> Uh, I will allow a desperate uh, finesse roll to Wait, try. And just... Do you have any dots? I, I don't think I do. Okay, uh, I don't. I have prowl. 
I have a dot and prowl. Oh, prowl is for sneaking around. We're gonna go ahead and not. We're gonna uh, not get you arrested. Uh, all right. You can do the face. <laughs> Wait, so I can't roll finesse? You can? No, you can. You just roll at a disadvantage. Yeah. Um, uh, you could maybe prowl around and try to get to a place where you could just get some drugs easier. I'll right, give you. I, I, can, I, I can see where it like, might be. Yeah, it would still be a desperate prowl roll because he's looking dead at you and waiting for you to get the fuck out. Okay. Um, okay. But you can make. I would allow you to make that roll. <laughs> is this a standard or limited effect? I also so also Chad is pointing out that I should stop fucking with yeah. you and you could just have, you have drown powder on you. on you as a leech. Oh really? Oh, I do. It's, it's, on, it's, on, it's on your oh character my sheet. God. I th I thought I only had skull fire uh, potion. I don't remember I had. Uh... You could have like any of them. Oh. Oh. Okay. <laughs> I was only looking at my bandolier le er, list earlier. So this is oh, all been it. Brown powder. Yeah, this yeah. has all been a very entertaining <laughs> diversion. Yeah, the whole time. <laughs> so I should. So I should. I feel like you go outside with Veldrin and like you're. You know, you're you put your bandolier back on and you see the vial and you're like, oh, oh yeah, I got some. Lessons. I thought you were doing it because you didn't want to use what was on your bandolier just in case. Um, like, so or... let me tell you some shit about Omni though. <laughs> I know. I was just like, oh, maybe Omni saw him. Is just like thinking ahead. Okay. He okay. like decided to tell it. Like everyone gathered the story. He's like, anyways, I didn't get any then, but I had some. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I just. I have some. <laughs> so, I, yeah, I feel like... The story of Rim is just staring, like... Yeah, I feel like we snap back to the present time and everybody's sipping tea, and, like, the the punchline of your story is, like, so I didn't get any fucking jam powder there, but I had it all along, so we can, we can taint it with this. And they're just, like, fucking why? But you all move on. Um, so you have some jam powder to taint this uh, business with... Man, I love you guys. You guys are fucking hilarious. Holy <laughs> shit. Let's see. Hmm. So how do we decide how well you're able to taint something? I guess you can just do it as a leech, question mark? What, what skills do you have? Well, I tinker seems like it's the most relevant. Ah, uh, yes, uh, tinker. Do you have the alchemist special ability? No. But uh, I do which have. One did you take? I have uh, the um. I have saboteur, yeah, so I'm thinking gonna, that could. Say, like, which one did you think she took? <laughs> <laughs> it was saboteur. Well, I was looking. I was like, oh wait, this would apply like really well right now in this one single case. So I'm pretty sure it's saboteur, but maybe. Yeah, no, I think saboteur would help because I can. Uh, I can uh, lace it in a way well, and argue that that wouldn't be detectable to. The, uh, if you black. use rec to do it, oh, I can do that. I have dots in rec too. <laughs> I do. Okay. So you're wrecking an item with carefully applied sabotage. I have a fine wrecking tool. I mean that I that is it. that fits. Yeah, it um. does. <laughs> um. So I think I think uh, we cut to you and Talithras in like one of the Red Sashes drug labs, and you guys are working on this. Mm -hmm. um, this is pretty controlled, uh, Roa. Um, and I think I think you have great effect from the assistance of the Red Sashes uh, facilities. Mm -hmm. To wreck this black lotus. Wreck it. Um, what are what are the rules again surrounding tools? Because one of the things that I can take are fine wrecker tools. Uh, I mean that would give you increased effect, uh, oh, but I well, think you're already yeah, at not... maximum uh -huh. effect. Okay, I just wasn't sure. I couldn't remember if they give you extra dice or anything. Interesting. 
Okay. And before we left that meeting. So Rambo's wait, but like, you can uh, resist this. You can resist oh, it. You can. Uh, using the attribute for wreck, which is uh, prowess. Yeah, you can resist this with a prowess roll. Um, or you can push and get help. I don't so, know if you can push or get help before the or after. Uh, the yeah, roll. not after. Right. So, um, how much stress do I start out with again? None. Uh, None. Question right, mark. and you can't get above like well, I forget what the limit is that I don't want. Oh, to. you can. Uh, it goes up to nine, and that's when you take a trauma. Right, and you take uh, one stress to resist, or is it two? Um, it, you take six it, minus oh, the result. On the world. Yeah, yeah, right. Yeah. We figured that out earlier. Um. Okay. Uh. Well, if I have three dots in prowess, I can. Uh. You have, have, you have two technically. Oh, I do. Yeah, you can just click the word prowess and it'll do a roll. Yeah. Oh, oh, it only counts the okay. Uh, yeah. Can any of this help? I guess I, I guess this is this is sort of an important role, so I'll do that. Uh, yeah, you can help. How I think you can help with resolve rolls. Um, I think resolve might be the one where you can't help. Yeah. It's like everything else, you can. Or not resolve, but uh, resist rolls. Yeah, um, just go ahead and resist. Res you can resist the consequence. Okay. And it's just a question of, um, oh wait, isn't a consequence, it pushes to risky. Okay, so there isn't a consequence, it's just a risky situation now. Yeah. Huh? Uh, now instead of it being like, a controlled you're completely situation. in control. Now like it's maybe like, you set something on fire in the lab mm -hmm, mm -hmm. and now you're working like now everybody's kind of like stressed out. Um, thank you, chat, by the way. Um, like you, you break something or something goes awry. Um, maybe you do accidentally set some sort of fire yeah. and now you're in a risky, you didn't need to do that. Um, and now you're in a risky situation. Okay, I see. So that, yeah. So I get, still succeed in the action, but the situation changes. Cool. Yeah, um, I think that's how it works. Uh, that's what it says. Yeah, press um, on by seizing a risky opportunity. So you need to roll uh, and something And you can different. reduce or avoid the consequences and take six stress minus your highest die result. So you could still have... But there's the no consequence because it was controlled. Okay. I thought the consequence was that it was, instead of being controlled, it was risky. I think, I think we have different meanings of consequence. Yeah. I, I thought the original consequence was that I didn't succeed in lacing the drugs. No, you no. That's not the consequence. Yeah. Um, you oh. re-roll. So re-roll as risky. Re-roll the wreck as risky. Oh, so that's the, that was what um, resisting okay. did for me. No, that was just the that consequence just, of it, having a one or yeah. two on a controlled roll. You didn't need to resist. Oh, so I can take that back off. Yeah. Okay. You don't take any stress. I yeah. See. Oh, I, I I see. Okay. Thank cool. you, chat. We're trying to. Yeah, sorry. Maybe I should have read the PDF more uh, extensively. Um, yeah, so give me a risky wreck. Okay. Or tinker, or whatever you would like to do. Risky. Is it still standard effect or, or great effect? I think it still was. Still great effect. Okay. Uh, so, a uh, four. Okay, so you do it, but there's a consequence. All right. So now there's consequences. Um, so this is when you might want to resist. Uh, you suffer harm, a complication occurs, you have reduced effect, and you end up, or you end up in a desperate situation. So I think the, I think we go back to you setting the lab on fire, and you're risking mm -hmm. harm here. I'm okay with that. John is like, you could push yourself. <laughs> oh, how, how do I push myself? You just take stress you and you can roll another die. Uh, 
did I have to take stress? I had to take a stress for the flashback as well, right? No, there was no purpose yeah. to that. I won't make you take stress for a okay. bullshit flashback. Fear not. <laughs> okay. Um, hmm. So, what, what's the difference between... Or, or why would I push myself instead of resisting consequence? Uh, if you you push can yourself, roll another you die and you might get a five or six on it. Or a yeah. six yeah. on it. You wouldn't it. have to resist mm. at all anyway. Mm. Yeah. Because you wouldn't... So do you push yourself? Question. Uh, I mean, it succeeded. Okay, <laughs> but you're going to take damage. Uh, damage well, she's good. She can resist. Yeah. Um. Well. Okay. Well, I guess I, I can. I can push myself if I find. So you take two this. stress, and you can roll. Roll me a d6. Okay. Oh, hey. hey. See? See? <laughs> Good call, everyone. That's why, good that's job. Why you push good job, guys. Um, so I'm really good at putting out fires as it happens because this <laughs> dice is lost. So here we go. Here we go. You, no, there is no fire. There's no fire. Oh. You like, <laughs> you just like really think back to like wherever you learn how to deal with chemicals and everything and you like put your nose to the grindstone and you lace that fucking black lotus with the drown powder. Nobody gets set on fire. There's no explosions. It's perfectly fine. You're fine. All right. All right. We got their team. All right. Okay. So now you have a supply of tainted black lotus. Yeah. And before the meeting ended, before we like went off to the drug lab, Rem would go to make the deal with the leader of the red sashes. It's like, all right. So what we're going to do, we'll lace this uh, Black Lotus now. You'll take it back. We're going to stage a break-in so that Bazo Baz buys it. And I totally forgot what words are. We'll take payment from him. And we'll call it even. You'll have their, like, business tainted. They should hopefully, like end up being run out of Crew's foot. And it can't be traced back to you. And we can't be blamed. Maybe whoever sold it to you really tainted it. We'll never know. All right. It's like, I think we should shake on this. Hold up, where's the part where the black, the red sashes pay us? Do you say that? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, everybody stops and looks at you. <laughs> and she's like, well, that is a fair point. Oh, you want to double dip? You want payment for me as well? Uh, no, not payment. How about a non-aggression pact? She squints. What does that mean exactly? Unless we're double dealing against the Lamplex, we're not going to attack you. And you won't attack us. And if we have to attack each other, we'll stage it. Make it look real. But no one will actually be hurt. So you want to be allies then? Yes. So my allies. my lair looks at Talithra. They like there's some sort of unspoken communication between the two of them. She says, I don't feel I know you well enough for that yet. Well, how about just for... I mean, you are currently in the process of backstabbing someone else. We'll say that we'll have this non-aggression pact for just a week. How does that sound? Hmm, just a week. I think we could just steer... Just a trial run. We could steer clear of each other for at least that long. All right. And just remember, we'll be faking that break in on insert date here. Insert night here, day, probably day. And she, um, she nods and she says, all right, we can go over the details of what that looks like later. Yes, it's like, uh, though I would like to shake on it now. It's customary where I'm from. 
And she kind of looks at your hands with like the claws on them and whatnot. <laughs> Question, like, it's like a like a universe thing. Do people like know that these like demon packs exist as like a thing? Um, like, it's I, not a demon like, pack. It's a ghost contract. A demon right. pack is my totally gosh. My oh my, my bad. god. Like, do people know these exist and are like therefore really wary about shaking hands? Or I think like, um, I think it's like a player character kind of thing. I think I if, think it's more people. I don't think if she was more that. occultly inclined, she might worry about it. There's also that. But also, who expects like this fucking Tycharosi demon noble that's like, I'm gonna live a life of crime to make I would, fucking I would, contracts? I would expect it. <laughs> I mean, I don't but, usually trust people with eight eyes, but that's just like me. Yeah, you're like <laughs> shady as fuck. I think you need, I think you need some sort of role to get her to agree to this, this um, business. Uh, Cause you, you look weird. I told you, you look weird. All right, can I go with? Uh, I don't know how it makes study work. I could go with sway. Okay. Or, which one? Uh, I mean, I am manipulating her. That's like, yeah, it's sway. Okay. Uh, what position is it? Risky. Risky. Yeah. And standard effect. Yeah. Is anyone helping? <laughs> anyone helping? Would you like to push uh, yourself? Can anybody think of a devil's bargain? I'd like to help if I can. How are you helping? I, I guess I'll tell you. She, they're always shaking everyone's hand. I think it might be a little bit of a cultural obsession. I don't know. I'm not from there. Just go with it. Okay. Um, and can anybody think of a devil's bargain? Uh, maybe the devil's bargain. I actually did think about flirting with her. I think the devil's bargain would probably be like she Ooh. thinks it actually is a demon pact. No, I have it. If if uh, you take the devil's bargain, Talithra will notice the ghost pact go into effect. Ooh. Talithra will know. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Or I could just push myself. Uh, let's roll an eye. All right, we're going to take the doubles bargain. Okay. So um, you have one helper die from Nuri. Yep. And Talithra... Solithra definitely notices, but go ahead and roll your sway. Oh, oh fuck! <laughs> <laughs> this motherfucker just shit sixes on my game. <laughs> what the hell? So, uh, it actually is a demon pack. <laughs> Damn, this is serious. <laughs> got serious AF. <laughs> I, I have so many questions about what we can do with this demon pack now. <laughs> pack, sorry. So yeah, she shakes enthusiastically. Um, Zul, Zul, you're a whisper? I am yeah. a whisper. Yeah, you would notice this like, you would notice this electric charge go through to Lithra at the handshake. Like her yeah. hair like puffs out a bit with a bit of static and her eyes glow <laughs> for a second. Damn, she went full Yami Yugi. Basically. <laughs> like a little like spark crackles or something. Um, but yeah, she definitely notices the ghost pack go into effect, although she doesn't say anything to my Lara uh, at the time. And, and yeah. Remish just smiling brightly. It's like, and if this goes well. Maybe we can talk again later. And gives her a little wink with two sets of like both of the right eyes. All right. So, um, so my lair has agreed, agreed to a weak ceasefire. 
Oh, uh, or non-aggression yeah, uh, pact. Yeah, which is just a ceasefire. Yeah. Apparently. I mean, technically, you uh, haven't begun be firing. A, she might be a permanent contact now. Uh, why? Uh, it's a crit on a sway roll. Oh, okay. I'm looking um, for it now. Yeah, uh, if you can give me a page number. See. I think you can double wink if you have four eyes. Yes, I can double wink as I have four eyes. Just saying. Is a, tri is a triple wink still a wink, though? Like, if she, like, winks it's just three a, of her eyes? No, then it's just an anti-wink. No, it's like a blink and a wink? Yeah. No, it's an anti-wink. It's an anti-wink. It's a wink, yeah. It's an inverse wink. Okay. Uh, John says that is not a rule. He just did it one okay. time. So, I mean, I rolled three sixes. Does she become a contact? Uh, no. Only okay. there's her and Talitha are gonna Talitha, Talithra are gonna have a conversation later. Um, okay. Talitha Vale. I'm adding R. Okay. Um, but yeah, she definitely shakes on it. Um, she's agreed to a one week non aggression pact with you uh, under ghost contract. So, uh, and Talitha knows. <laughs> uh, and you guys have a supply of uh, drown power lace black lotus that's in the black hole sun. And now we need to do an engagement roll for this deception plan. Sounds great. Yeah. Uh, I mean, if we are really good at stealing their stuff, wouldn't he not notice a break in, though? Uh, that's just it. I'm going to make a roll for, uh, like, gathering information and planning shit. Okay. Um. Could we have them set out a rumor that they were, like, their stuff was stolen? Uh, you guys could set that rumor. Yeah. Oh, true. Yeah, I feel like that makes yeah, yeah. more sense. Um, so is I'm gonna do the where's the leverage here? But is there a way to ensure that someone from the Lamp Blacks will be either in the black hole? Not in the black hole, son. That would be dumb if we dropped it off there <laughs> in operation. The whole thing. <laughs> uh, that would be nearby while we're like making our clean getaway. So we just have and to also for like, oh look at this stuff we got. Or maybe they just happen to like have guards that are on duty and close enough to see like four figures slipping away from the black hole sun. Next day we roll up like uh, yeah, lamp blacks yeah. wouldn't have people in red sash's territory yeah. without okay. like you know like that's that's some shit for them to get into. They're yeah. not willing to too... do that. We're too close to Red Sash's territory. I mean, you're on but... Red Sash's territory. Yeah. This is literally their territory. We're, yeah. yeah. We're too close to them and not close enough to the Lamp Blacks for that to work. Like, no one's going to see us. They're too far away. I mean, it's not their turf. They have no bit. They yeah. can't go there. Do, um, uh, as in our list of contacts, do we have anyone that would be amenable to spreading rumors? Uh, For the crew... We Let's have it's for myself as a positive contact. I do have a blue coat archivist. I got a negative blue coat. Contact. <laughs> yeah, I have a negative servant. Wait, can I use the negative connection I have with this servant to spread the rumor? Yes. And she thinks that she's talking shit about this fucking Tykerosi noble that lost her job with Lord Skurlock. I like that plan. Okay. That'll get that word out. It sounds like you're manipulating yeah. her. Plus, doesn't that, like, I like ups our street cred. It's like, oh, man, look at these people yeah. that <laughs> jack some shit. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, so, like, what does that look like when you're spreading this rumor to her? Like, how does that look? Uh, I think it's, like... It's not actually to her. It's while I am at at a restaurant, 
that she either now has to work at or like whoever she's working for is visiting. And I'm just saying, it's like, oh, and I mean, my family cut me off. And normally you would think, oh, I have nothing left at all. But I've got a nice little job lined up. Something uh, at the Black Hole Sun. You'll, I'm sure you'll hear about it soon to like whoever I'm having dinner with. That's probably just some random Dib, ass. Dibs on, dibs on me. Okay. Because <laughs> I don't think anyone... I'm just nervously eating. It's, it's like, eat, you need to slow down, dear. Don't drink so much wine. Sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. So, um, Finn, where where are you during all of these, like, rumor-spreading <laughs> endeavors? Uh, I mean, in spreading the rumors? Uh, not really so sure. Um... I guess I, uh, let's see. I don't really know. I'm kind of just tagging along. I, Cause like, I guess I, I can't really go back to the ciphers and ask them for anything. Um, I can't go to the grinders. Uh, oh, yeah, I didn't actually look at that. Uh, we have positive relationships with the Lost, the Denver Sisters, the Circle of Flame, and the Cyphers and the Forgotten Gods. Yeah, I've missed some. Uh, but if we're planning yeah. to like, I mean, are, are we just going to be spreading this rumor or are we actually going to try and enact something? I think we're just spreading um, rumors. We're spreading the rumor cool. and then following through on it. Yeah. Wait, so we're actually following it through on it to give? Yes, we're faking. Okay, we're so there, there's like a disconnect here. Some wait, so wait, wait, spreading if... the rumor as a deception, and or as a part of the deception, we are spreading the rumor and then yeah. to actually actually as going through preparation for the deception plan. You're spreading this rumor. <laughs> But why do we why do we need to pretend to sneak in if none of the black uh, or none of the lamp blacks are watching? Great question. Yeah, incredible. Like, I think we can just take it back to them, right? Uh, we could. Do we actually? But at the same time, like the rumor. If we can't just like tell them we walked in and took it, <laughs> like we have to like give them like oh yeah we snuck in it was like super dangerous. We did this like, but we got out okay. We got yeah, out. We, it, was, it was crazy. So we have to like, like to give like credit. I'm also. Like, I mean, we can still say that, right? It gives us. Wait, it gives us. I've like, got. I've credit. got another idea. Uh, so the blue cart, blue coat archivist that I have as a positive contact. What if I have them file a report, even if there's no blue coats in the area, that like yes, there was suspicious activity, unknown persons breaking and entering into uh, the black hole sun like these things were taken that, that works too so is that in lieu of staging yeah in lieu of all of the rumors we're going to have like an official police report okay so that sounds like it's still a deception plan um yeah and go ahead yeah sorry Oh, okay. Um, and then we would still need an engagement roll. Yes? Uh, okay. Uh, hmm. For this second plan. Uh, would someone better at sneaking into places want to leave the engagement roll? Oh yeah, true. I, so I'm still confused what the plan actually is. Uh, we're just like breaking in, faking. Okay, so, so now we're yeah. not. So now you straight. are gonna fake the stealing. Yeah, we. Yeah, we were always yeah. going to fake it. It was just a question of how do the lamp blacks get this information that yes, it was successful. Okay, so, okay, okay. so but There's we're rolling. Me. We're rolling to get the fake police report done. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I think so. Yes. Wait. 
So, oh, okay. Are we actually stealing or just like taking it with us when we leave? We should, we should just I take it. I think that's where I'm confused. I, I don't think. Okay. It, oh yeah, we're just actually we're just giving it credibility. Okay. That's what I'm thinking. We're okay. not actually stealing anything. We asked them politely for it. Yeah, we got it. They're politely. very complicit <laughs> in this. Okay, so but okay, so now we need a roll. Maybe not necessarily an engagement role, but we need some sort of role to convince the archivist to fake something for you. Okay. And that would be on me because it's... Yeah. Okay. Um, so... Oh, I was so confused. You're like, I'll have my archivist put it in there. <laughs> Who's going to sneak in? I yeah, was like... I think the part that I was thinking sneak where? was like... I thought it was a setup action. Yeah. Yeah, you're and setting up you your were reception like, no, this is of the whole fucking plan. We're yeah, you're, going se- to leave you're setting up a deception of Basil Bass. I would, I would help um, by giving like exact details. Like I would just like, like just like really quickly, just like take and like, like do some math. Like how long it would actually take us to do such a thing, and then, like, uh, okay, so we would be like this. Uh, it would be like uh, probably like eleven o'clock. We broke in because yeah and then it would out at four they would notice probably by six something like that okay so take some stress okay. and you can give a die okay two okay for one and uh i think it's on your it's somewhere in the rules but um push yourself devil's bargain can anybody think of a good one uh okay was i can't remember um uh, what's your contact's name uh, Jaren. J E R E N. Um, if you do this, Jaren, Jaren will call in a favor later. Okay. You'll owe him. Okay. I'm all right with that. Okay, so you take that bargain. Uh, Rem owes then... Jaren a favor. And then, uh... What's your class again, Matt? I am the spider. Spider. Yeah. Um... I have something else. Uh, this would be risky. Like, this is definitely something Jaren should not be doing. Period. Let alone for a criminal. Alright, uh, so... Do-do-do. Is it a... Consort or sway roll? I don't know. Are you... Okay. I'll tell him that I owe him later. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. And standard effect, great effect. Standard. Okay. And then I get two bonus die. Right? Mm-hmm. One for Devil's Bargain, one for helping. Okay. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you've got Not quite as good, but five. Um, so you owe Jaren a favor for sure, but I think also, let's see, on a four or five you do it, but there's a consequence. Hmm. Uh, Is there, there's no like actual difference between like a five and a four, right? Right. Like, yeah. I think, uh. I think Jaren's boss spots you. And doesn't like it it doesn't spot you doing anything wrong necessarily, but he definitely sees you in Jaren's office and he's kinda of pokes his head head in and says, What's all this then? While I'm giving giving Jaren the wink wink nudge nudge. <laughs> Just like in the process of you like submitting this fake uh report for him to file. Uh, what is all of this? Who are you? We don't normally have visitors back here, you understand. You know, just like, oh, oh, of course, of course. I'm just so sorry. I and just, Jared's like Jared's stuffing the, the thing in a drawer. like. Oh, and Rim is definitely like getting right in the way, like standing between the the mm-hmm. boss and Jaren is just like, oh, sorry, Jaren's just a dear old friend, and oh, 
I was passing through town and kind of like Rem just kind of like looks back and looks back at the ones and is like, you know how it is. So this this person, his name is gonna be Brandon. Brandon the blue coat. He uh he glares and he's like no courting during work hours. <laughs> Young lady, get out of here. This is no place for you. She's just like, oh, I'm so sorry. It's just a thing for men in uniform. Can't help it. He kind of like later. curls a lip with your like four eyes and claw hands. Like, ew. <laughs> what do you mean there's an authority in a place of law? <laughs> gotcha. <And, laughs> and like, as they're leaving, it's just like, I just happen to be very talented. Well, I'll see you later. <clears throat> So, um, so Jaren is gonna call in a favor later, but Brandon the blue coat is definitely gonna remember your face. I think everyone remembers Rim's face. Yeah, I don't know why you do all the talking when you're so distinctive. Um, because <laughs> then people are paying attention to me instead of the people stealing everything. Yeah, we're, we're a carefully, carefully crafted group of master spies. Yeah, so if anything, um, I think we're going to start a clock for Blue Coat Suspicion. Ooh. Yeah. Ooh, man. The Blue Coats, oops, I did not want to make a box there. The Blue Coats definitely are it's on, like, they've, god damn it, why do I keep making these boxes? Um, they've twigged to some weirdness of this, like, four-eyed woman. This seems to keep showing up places, um, and then we're gonna we're gonna start a clock for that. Okay. Uh, her personal clock, right? Like none of us. Yeah, they're um, they're suspicious of yeah. um, Rem. Understand. So, what is that like a? four, six, eight segment clock? Um, it's oh. actually, I grabbed eight, but I think it's more of a six. Okay. And it has nothing filled in it in it right now? It has one. It has one, okay. I'm working on it. I'm putting it on the map now. Okay. So yeah, that's, they're definitely, this like weird four-eyed woman has been doing things in their premises and they don't fully understand what the fuck you're doing there. And it seems highly illegal because you seem like a prostitute, question mark. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> but yeah, they're, they're def there's definitely some suspicions there. Okay. Understandably. Understandably, I think. Yeah. You certainly didn't help yourself. Um, all right. Nope. Blue coat suspicions of Ram. Why is this gray and not like actually black? So, um, so okay, so you have that story in, and I think uh, at the beginning of our next session we should um, do this this deceiving of Basil Baz. Does that sound good? Yeah. So you can finish up the score, yeah. and then we can do some downtime. Cool. Sounds good. All right. Let's let's do some XPs. Okay. Um, wow, I really put Rembers instead of Remembers. Holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> is that a pun yeah. on Rem? No, I was like, why is this word so fucking short? I swear there were more <laughs> letters. All right, yeah, XP, okay. XP. So everybody should have um, an XP session on their sheet. Let's start with Nuri. Okay. Okay. Um, so how many desperate actions did you roll? Do I do, do I get credit for my desperate, useless sway roll in that flashback? No. If you don't take stress, you also don't get credit. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah. Um. Oh, do I get uh address a challenge with technical skills? Did you okay? Wait, did you do any desperate actions? No. Uh, that, I'm pretty sure that was the only desperate action that I had. Okay. Yeah, it was next. The only one of you rolled. Anyone rolled? So you address a challenge with technical skill or destruction. I think you definitely did that. Oh wait, but so. 
Uh, oh, okay. Sorry, I'm misunderstanding that. Okay, yeah. You did so that. I get a point for that in yeah. playbook. Uh, I think you can put it in either playbook or an an attribute. Right. Yeah. Um, okay. Next, you express your beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. Uh. Well, I did go hang out with my buddy, the druggie. None of that. None of that scene counts for anything because you didn't take stress for it. <laughs> okay. It was just a great story. It, okay. it was a fantastic story, and we all have fun. But if you don't take the consequences, you don't reap the benefits. Okay. Cool. Um. I. No, yeah, I don't think so. Okay, and you didn't struggle with your vice or trauma. No. Okay. Um. Next. Uh, Finn, I feel like... Uh, no, 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 no. I feel like, unfortunately, you didn't get to roll. Like, I, I didn't... I mean, it happens. Also, it like, I'm happen. still, like, figuring out what the system is and you know, where I sort of fit into it. So there's just a lot of, like, oh. and less of, like, actually action. Yeah, we'll probably have more action in the future. Yeah, so, yeah. I mean, it, it, whatever. It's really not a big deal. Just... Just wait for Omni to blow something up. There you go. <laughs> I'm waiting for it. Uh, but yeah, no, I didn't. I didn't roll, so I didn't get XP. Okay. Um. Okay. Rem. So chat is is saying I'm being mean, but we're like that whole scene got retconned. <laughs> Yeah, like it didn't actually. Happen. No, I like I. It's true. I didn't take stress for the flashback. Is what I thought you meant. If you don't take stress from the roll, and then I was confused, but I understand. No, now. Yeah, yeah, you didn't. There were no consequences for it, so I feel like I yeah. shouldn't. It's yeah, like a thing legit. you just went and did that had nothing come from yeah. it. You were like, yeah. <laughs> and it's Wait, not that I there's no consequences know. because she she resisted it. There's no consequences because we retconned it actually yeah. having any effect on the game. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I still okay. say I told that story, though. <laughs> you did tell that story, and everybody was like, the <laughs> fuck are you talking about? Um, okay. Uh, Rem, you have the blue coat suspicion on your character sheet as your own project. Uh, yeah, so I could keep track of it. It's literally on the map. I don't oh. see it. It's right above Unless, the map. Okay. I see. It's all the way above the map. Okay. Yeah, it's cool. it's just not your personal project, so. Okay. FYI. I can all get right. rid of that. Yeah. Um, desperate action. No. No. Uh, address the challenge for preparation or calculation. Uh, maybe calculation. Probably a lot of calculation. How so? Just flush it out. Uh, well. Uh, crap, why can't I remember her name? The leader of the Red Sashes. My Lara? Yes, my Lara. Like, detailing out that whole plan, figuring out what I could figure out without knowing anything about alchemy. Yeah, so it was your idea to lace the drugs. Yeah. yeah okay. Was. Like, to lace the drugs to make a deal, to double deal, basically. Okay. So, yeah, take one XP for that. Uh, express your belief, drives heritage, or background? Can I get experience for being a snobby-ass noble the entire time? I would definitely give you an XP for being like, oh, this drug den, I've totally gotten high there before. Okay. Yeah, you definitely were, you definitely flex your dissolute noble background. Um, struggled with issues from your vice or trauma. I feel like that didn't happen for uh, anybody. No, I, I went to a restaurant. That's, that's not it. That's not a struggle. It's not. <laughs> Maybe it was. But it but the it wasn't was though. Getting, but it was struggle was getting Zul to fit in. That is that not a struggle. Yeah, that's not that your personal struggle. struggle. <laughs> All right. Uh Zul. Yeah, I did not roll a desperate action somehow. Okay. That was close. Uh, uh I addressed the challenge with knowledge. Definitely take an XP for that. Uh, express my beliefs, drives, heritage, or background. You are academic I, AF. I would yep. give you a point for that. Thank you. And then I didn't struggle with my vice or trauma. Okay. 
And then who has a crew sheet? Uh, I Rem? do. I'm going to swap this over if you're not. This, I feel like the crew might get experience in a way. No. Uh, we up, we upped our rep. Down. Hold on. Maybe we're, getting a, we're gained a reputation. Did you? You haven't did completed a score. Yeah. Oh, then we had to actually complete it. Like the yeah. stuff we did to okay. spread rumors. Um, at the end of each session, for each item below, mark one XP. Execute a su successful espionage, sabotage, or theft operation. Not yet. Contend with challenges above your current station. Uh, we did just like, <laughs> like went up and like straight up talked to like two level two factions and just like flexed yeah. on them. <laughs> that's true. That's true. Yeah. I would give you one crew XP for that. Uh, bolster Great your crew's flex. reputation or develop a new one. Uh, you definitely bolstered your fucking weird as shit reputation. <laughs> yeah, we did. <laughs> well, we're fucking weird. Um, so take an XP for that on the crew. Did we, so for a quality of our hunting grounds, our hunting grounds was specifically like, oh, what was it? Um, um hold on, Eric. It, uh, it's help. for espionage. Yeah. yeah. But it doesn't like help that we like made a non-aggression pact essentially. Uh, well, it does, help, but not right now. It'll help for the score we do after. Yeah. We made that pact so that if we have to do anything like on their territory, they can't come back and attack us. Okay. Mm. So that, that doesn't like help our. Okay, that makes sense. Not yeah. yet. Basically. Also, um, do we get, do we get two? Yeah, because it says mark crew advances for each time, and if we. Contended with both the lamplighters, I guess, lamp and, and, and the the red sashes. Yeah, yeah, I'll give you two XP for that, because uh, you okay. definitely like fucked around with some big faction. Well, bigger than you factions. Um, then express yeah. the goals, drives inner conflict, or essential nature of the crew. Yeah. Um, being yeah. weird as fuck. We were weird as fuck. essential. You yeah. already got experience. Yeah, we're we being fucking weird. weirdos. Yeah. Yeah, we were <laughs> oh, you can't well, double I mean, dip on that. that. In the sense that we're shadows, we're doing like espionage and. Yeah. You were definitely true. some shady ass double dealing ass. We are trying. Yeah, yeah, we are trying we were, to double we're cross them. We're definitely doing things in a shadowy way. Okay, I'll give yeah. you an XP for that. Even if, even though we did all everything in plain sight. <laughs> yeah. All right, um, so I think that's all of our XP business. Yep. Um, in our next session, you guys will complete this score by giving uh, some Deadly Lotus to uh, Bazo. That'll probably start a new clock uh, whereby the city is poisoned in some ways. Um Let's do some outros, starting with yeah. the person who couldn't roll. I'm so sorry, Nathan. <laughs> oh, um, I'm sorry. I'm, uh, <laughs> <laughs> who are you? Where well, can we we'll, find we'll, you? We'll, do we'll, you we'll have any side. business? Oh, I guess I, I have, I have a profile. Uh, what am I putting in chat? I don't even know. Um, we we run a uh, Stars Without Numbers campaign before, and I I uh, stream that on um, my channel. If you want to check out the vods for that, there's some some there might be some misses. There's some, uh, there's some funny shit in there. Uh, there was. But yeah, besides oh, that, why? Uh, not a lot. <laughs> Thank you, Mads. Yeah, um, I'm Mads, also known as Allie. I make art and make games and i'm currently making a hack of this game that is a prohibition era supernatural like urban fantasy game how is that any find it. wait what <laughs> the no, prohibition just, part <laughs> fuck you, I'm fucking yeah <laughs> oh my god the first part god. oh my god let her do also, her damn outro though yeah, and it's also, it's more like, like, fucking werewolves and vampires and fae, and it's closer to monster hearts, but in Prohibition. You can find that at this link, patreon.com slash madpuro. I think there was a zombie. I remember being really excited about yeah. it. 
there is a zombie playbook. Well, not playbook, like origin. But yeah, um, and you can find me tweeting about wrestling and esports at twitter.com slash mapuro. And sometimes I stream. All right. Omni. Hey. I, I mean, I have a Twitch account, but I don't stream anything. And I have a Twitter, but I don't tweet anything. So really, I'm just going to show up here. Awesome. <laughs> uh, Tony. One sec, one sec. I got to get my link ready. Uh, How are you yeah, the last one of your me. links ain't ready, thanks. though? <laughs> thanks. Thanks, everyone, for coming. I really appreciate it. I'm just going to leave chat with this link. Uh, it's a really cute picture. I mean, it is actually really cute. I, I really hope you all come back next week. It was really fun. Yeah. Yeah. So, thanks, everyone. Wow. Um, and I am Nadra T. Gray, aka Trista Ray. You know that because this is my channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. Especially thank you to the people that know how to play this game in chat. In particular, John Harper. Yep. Uh, we yeah. will Big get ups to them. better at helping each other and and pushing ourselves and taking devil's bargains and not and like resisting consequences and not being a hot ass mess. Um, and indulging vices. And in, oh, I can't wait for downtime. It's gonna be so oh, much fun. Man. It's gonna be great. My character's gonna be so fat soon. It's gonna be good. <laughs> Uh, but yeah, we're we're gonna continue to learn this game. Thank you for bearing with us, and come back next week for more Blades in the Dark. Or head over to twitch.tv slash misclicks this coming Wednesday at 6 p.m. Pacific, where I will be GMing some good old fashioned D and D. Yeah. Yeah. We're gonna take on kind of squad hype. Yeah, we're going to take yeah. off some bugs and shit. It's going to be good times. Blue Jay is going to be guest starring with us again this week. It's going to be good times. Oh, cool. Yeah, that's awesome. Um, but yeah, that's all for us. Thank you guys for coming out. Hopefully, I'll see you later. The VODs will be up probably Wednesday, but I'll tweet. Yeah. Thanks. Bye.